Are you tired of stressing out about packing for your scuba trips? Want to make sure you have everything you need for an enjoyable and safe dive and don't end up on the other side of the world without a key piece of your scuba kit? In this video, I'll share my tips and personal packing checklists to help you pack like a pro and never forget an essential piece of gear again. Let's get into it. I'm Thomas Hughes, a professional scuba instructor, and on this channel, you'll see videos on scuba education, equipment, experiences, and environmental awareness. Now, whether this is your first dive trip or you're a veteran, packing is arguably the worst part of any trip. The amount of stress I've felt trying to make everything fit and make sure I don't forget anything along the way is unreal. Imagine you unpack after a long plane ride to the Caribbean, or even worse, flying all the way across the ocean to Southeast Asia, and you realize you forgot something. Your dive computer, your rig, fins, your go GoPro batteries, any of these can ruin your trip and you may not even be able to rent what you forgot. So let's start with the basics, mask, fins, snorkel, and booties. These are things that you're gonna need on every trip. Make sure you take them with you. You can usually rent these if you forgot them or, or damaged them or something like that, but these are things that you're really gonna to wanna to have your own for. Personally, I know the rental fins are usually not something that I wanna dive in normally. My buoyancy is off or my fin technique is off. And a mask is something that goes on my face and I really want it to fit properly as well. Dive computers and watches are something that you also cannot rent from every shop out there. Depending on where you are, some shops really don't just stock extra computers just so they can have a rental fleet available to them. Additionally, you really want to have your own computer and maybe even a backup computer because if you lose your computer or if you forgot it, this could end your dive and maybe even end your dive trip because you won't be able to monitor your nitrogen levels without using dive tables. And come on, even as an instructor, who wants to do it that way? If you're interested in dive tables, let me know by the way, I'll make a video on how those work. Next, let's go ahead and round out our basics. We want to include our regulator, which should be packed in a safe position or really in your carry-on. And then if you want, you can bring your BCD or wetsuit or dry suit, depending on the conditions as well. I typically bring my BCD. I have a travel uh, backplate and wing that I like to bring, and I have a link down in the description for the one that I use. The reason for this is BCDs are, again, something that's very tailored to you. If you dive often, you know what your buoyancy is within your own kit. And just having that comfort of your own gear that fits you properly is so much better. I've seen some really raggedy BCDs out there and I don't want to call any specific shops out but I've been down in the Caribbean or in Mexico and have seen some shops that have had holes in their BCDs, giant tears, things that I just wouldn't really want to trust with my life when this is the flotation device that's going to allow me to stay at the surface safely if I get left alone or really just control my buoyancy in general and keep my tank on my back. It's kind of important to have those things. Again the regulator puts it in your mouth, the rental ones they just may not be as clean as you wish they would be. Finally a wetsuit. Everyone knows that there's two type of divers out there. There's ones who pee in their wetsuit and ones who lie about it. So personally, if I can fit my own wetsuit in there and I need it, I'm bringing my own wetsuit. I know you may not have all of this equipment and maybe you don't own all your own gear and that's fine. A lot of this stuff is rentable, just like wetsuits and regulators and things like that. Almost any dive shop is gonna have that available for you. But these are things that really make it more comfortable for you if you bring it yourself and you don't wanna forget them. So make sure you check it off the list and you figure out if you're gonna rent it, call the shop ahead of time so you know that that's something that you need to rent. They have it available for you. They have your size. They don't have ones that put giant holes in it, hopefully, and all of that. Now with packing all this primary gear, it's really important that you pack it safely so you don't damage anything in transport. And if you want a video on how to pack these safely or just packing tips in general, let me know and I'll cover that. Now let's move on to some of the additional dive items you might want with you that are more of the accessory items, let's say. You're gonna wanna make sure you bring a flashlight and then also the batteries that are for that flashlight and the charger if you're using rechargeable batteries. You'll also wanna bring a compass in almost any situation. You'll want some type of surface uh, marker buoy, whether that's a DSMB that you can deploy from underwater or just a regular SMB. Depending on where you're going, sometimes these are required if you're actually going to be diving without a guide. So make sure you check into that. I know for me off the coast of North Carolina, for example, it is mandatory that every diver has a DSMB. You're also going to want some type of surface signaling device, whether that's a signal mirror or a whistle. I like to bring both if need be. Now again, it's important that you bring some extras with you as well, because what if something does get damaged in transit? This is where a save a dive kit can come into play. And I have a video all about save a dive kits and how to bring your own. But remember, if you have a travel save a dive kit, bring that with you so you can replace an O-ring or you have mass drafts and things like that to save yourself from ruining your entire dive trip when you're all the way across the ocean or down to the Caribbean or something like that. Another thing a lot of people forget is either their camera, batteries, or chargers. And again, I talked about batteries some with flashlights, but remember, have spare batteries. If you have a user replaceable battery in your computer, for example, make sure you bring extra AA's or whatever batteries those are, as you'll be surprised, but depending on where you are, sometimes 
you can't get this? What if you're on a liveaboard, for example? They may not have chargers available for you to buy. Uh, they might not have micro USB cables or extra batteries and things like that. And of course, for me especially, I always wanna take footage of what I'm diving, so having my camera is really important. Make sure you have everything you need for that. Now, I know this can be a lot to remember, and this is where my packing list comes into play. I created a free packing list that you can fill out electronically for every trip that you go on. This is the ultimate list because it has all the items you're gonna need for your trip. It even includes non-diving things like sunscreen, sunglasses, a boat hat, jackets, etc. This packing list is completely free to download, and I'll have a link in the description as well as in the pinned comment below so you can check it out. One of the best parts is that you can print it out and then reuse it for every trip because it's customizable, so you can just get it laminated, wipe it clean, and reuse it, or you can type it up and keep it electronic instead. Also, if you think the list is missing anything, let me know. You can email me or write a comment down below, and I'll make sure to add that item to the list as well so we can update it for everybody. Packing is so stressful, so using this packing list to save yourself time and stress is so, so nice. As you pack things, just make sure they're working. Test your flashlights, make sure you have your regulator with maybe the dry suit hose, for example, if you need to use your dry suit or take the hose off if you aren't gonna be using it. If you do forget something, remember you might be able to rent it from the dive center you're chartered through, or you can even ask your buddy as well, but Sometimes they don't have that stuff available, so it's really important to bring whatever you can. And as a final tip, remember to bring that save a dive kit. If you need to fix anything that got damaged while transporting it, or just while you're out diving, or maybe forgot something while you're traveling, you need to click or tap the screen right now to watch my video on how to build your own save a dive kit that can be personalized for you and your diving. With that, stay safe, have fun, and let's go diving.